Here we have a problem about scatter plots and correlation. In case you haven't seen a scatter plot before, it's this type of graph where uh, each dot has two pieces of data about something. So in this case, the something is movies. And one piece of data is how much money it earned when it was at the theater. So uh, this movie right here earned 60 million when it was at the theater. And then the other piece of data is on the y-axis, and that is how much it earned in rental. So this one, it earned 60 million at the at the theater, and it earned I don't know eight and a half million or something like close to that uh, from rentals. The reason we make plots like this is to look at those two pieces of data and see how they're related to each other or if they're related to each other, and we call that a correlation. In this case, it probably makes sense to you that these two things would be related, right? If a theater earns more at the at the sorry, if a movie earns more at the theater, it's probably a better movie or a more popular movie, and so more people later are going to rent it. So as the theater revenue goes up, the rental revenue should also go up. That makes sense, and we can see these dots have um, they're tightly bunched and uh, they have, move in a certain direction. They tend to slope upward to the right here. We call that a positive correlation. Just like over here, this is another example of a, a scatter plot that shows a positive correlation. So even though these, these dots are kind of spread out into a little cloud, generally, as they go to the right, they go up. So that's a positive correlation. You can also have a negative correlation. Uh, so as something on the x-axis gets bigger, the other thing on the y-axis gets smaller. So if you see a shape like that, that's a negative correlation. Or you could have no correlation at all. There could just be this cloud of dots that doesn't have any um, you know, tendency towards a certain direction. One thing that mathematicians do is when they get a scatter plot that seems to have a correlation, they'll try to sketch in a line that represents the general direction. So they might draw a line like that, and they call that the line of best fits. And then they can use that line to make predictions. Uh, you could stretch the line out further and make a prediction about um, if x is some value out here, what would the y value be? Well, let's see if we can answer some questions about this one. Uh, a here says, for these 25 mov movies, as theater revenue increases, rental revenue tends to what? So the theater revenue is here. So increasing theater rev revenue means going in this direction. And the rental revenue, as the theater revenue goes in this direction, it tends to go in this direction. So it increases. So this would be increases. All right. B says, for these 25 movies, there is blank correlation. They're looking for positive, negative, no correlation. And here we see this sloping upward uh, general tendency of the data. So that is a positive correlation. And C says, using the line of best fits, so that's this line they've drawn in here, we would predict that a movie generating a theater revenue of $50 million would generate a rental revenue of approximately what? OK, so let's look for the theater revenue of $50 million. That's right here. And then we just have to go up until we hit the line right there. And it's a little hard to see, but that's slightly below the $10 million mark. So I don't know. We could estimate maybe $9.9 .9 million something close to that. So that is a little bit of work with scatter plots and correlation.